Welcome to Honduras This Week online news videocast for Monday, April 1st. This videocast is brought to you by Minister Suites in Teutigalpa, your home away from home. Catholic and Evangelical Church spreading their message on TV. In Honduras, there are two religions that compete for the biggest following. The Catholics, the major and more traditional, and the Evangelists or Protestants, a growing minority with less organization and newer concepts. Both have been successful in attracting new followers, and both feel the need to communicate their message through the media. Read the full article by Alvaro Morales Molina in the National Section. Cubans using Honduras as transit country on their way north. Last weekend, 24 Cuban refugees arrived on the Bay Islands and 14 touched land on the Mosquitia coast. That comes as a reminder that Honduras is increasingly being used by Cubans as a transit country to reach the United States. Last year, more than 500 Cubans are reported to have entered the country, all with the intention of making their way into the U.S. Read the full article by Alex Jones in the National Section. Campaign for a safe Holy Week hoping to reduce accidents and drowning. Safe Summer, Happy Summer is the slogan of this year's Easter Week campaign launched on Friday by the Commission for Prevention of Accidents Conatra. Due to the high increase in traffic on the major roads of Honduras during the Easter holiday, Conatra will set up 151 checkpoints to assure safety for Honduran holiday makers. They will also be handing out leaflets, medicines, and hanging banners with accident prevention messages. Read the full article by Annette Emanuelson in the National Section. The Evangelical and Catholic Churches Prepare for Easter The reputation is that in Semana Santa, Teutigalpa will be deserted. The streets will be quiet and the shops empty. Only in Semana Santa is Teutigalpa said to be vacant. Yet for the Protestant and Catholic churches, Semana Santa will be a time to celebrate in the city, utilizing its old traditions in their efforts this Easter to be closer to God. Read the full article by Louise Wallace in the National Section. When the beach party came to town, eight trucks of sand will be making their way into the Marriott Hotel this Semana Santa to construct Playa Tegus 2007. The sand will be spread out across the hotel parking lot, forming a local beach for those visiting or staying in Tosigalpa Thursday through Saturday. Football, beach volleyball and marathon com competitions will be taking place in this inland seaside. Read the full article by Alex Jones in the National Section. La Ceiba in preparation for Semana Santa The coastal town of La Ceiba is a hub for tourism in Honduras, drawing crowds that exceed the town's hotel capacity. La Ceiba's Chamber of Tourism is keen to build on this success in an ambitious project that will include the reopening of a bridge and a schedule of music and dance appropriate to the town's Caribbean link. They hope that this year La Ceiba will produce one of the most memorable Semana Santas in the North Coast history. Read the full article by Louise Wallace in the Tourism section. Natural, Archaeological and Culinary Treats at Lake Yohoa Lake Yohoa's name comes from the word Yokoha in the Lenka language, meaning accumulated water on Earth. Its volcanic origin has been proven by the sediment and volcanic ash that are found in this region. It is the only natural sweet water lake that exists in Honduras, located between Comayagua, Cortes, and Santa Barbara. The lake is a hub of life, from plants to fish, to mammals, to birds, to insects. Read more about this fascinating lake in Alex Jones' article in the tourism section. Yuscarán and Jaguare use tourism to build future. 
situated 30 kilometers from Teusigalpa, the region of Jaguare has been until recently a tourist wasteland as local towns Santa Lucia and Valle de Angeles absorbed all day trippers from the country's capital. A geographic diversity that includes fresh green mountains and dry golden plains give the region a natural magnificence that should surely appeal to visitors. However, its people suffer from poverty levels that are among the highest in the country. Quite simply, the region has lacked the educational and financial resources to build a sustainable tourism industry. This is a situation that the International Agricultural School Samorano has pledged to turn around. The plan is simple, to work with local families and businesses, from rose sellers and owners of the local comedor to the owners of the coffee plantations and farmers. Read the full article by Louise Wallace in the tourism section. Aval launches elite club for loyal clients. Financial corporation Aval, belonging to Citigroup, recently launched its elite club Aval at the hot couture fashion show Aval Elite Verano 2007. The elite club Aval is described as a passport that gives those with an Aval Platinum or Gold card the opportunity to attend the country's best shows, cultural happenings, sports events, as well as scientific conferences in the areas of medicine, engineering, and architecture. See the full article in the business section. Things to do and places to go to around Teutigalpa this Easter week. Almost half of the city's population leave for Semana Santa and the other half spend the days in a mixture of worship and relaxation. After Wednesday, most of the streets in Teutigalpa will be deserted, as if a Sunday had been put on replay right up until the end of the week, when all the sunburned and bankrupted tourists come back to reality. Find out about things to do and places to go to if you are staying in Tutigalpa this Semana Santa and in the article by Álvaro Morales Molina in the tourism section. Rich cultural experiences for Semana Santa in Copan Ruina. Semana Santa promises to be full of vibrant cultural and religious events in Copan Ruina this year. With the entire street in front of the cathedral in the center square covered in alfombras with cultural and religious themes, this traditional art form will be displayed beginning Friday afternoon of Semana Santa in the center of Copan, promising all the beauty of the alfombras in Antigua, but with the more intimate community spirit, which is characteristic of Copan Ruina. Read the full article by Anna Smith in the tourism section. This has been your online weekly update for Honduras. This is Nicole Martyr for Honduras This Week Online. Have a great day and see you next week.